yes good morning students we were discussing about justice the courts justice now we are entering into another chapter which we are going to discuss about the criminal justice system what is a criminal law we know the system you know somebody has a party has done some damage to your person attack him such a kind of cases are criminal cases so that criminal case how it is taken is how the cases are filed in the court all those things we are going to discuss so when we see someone violating the law somebody is attacking what do you do we immediately think of informing the police okay is some group some group of people are fighting we will call the police so police comes there. then what the police uh, what does the police do the police questions and writes down there what has happened and how it is and the case reaches the police station okay that is it. so you might have seen either in real life or in the movies police officers filing reports and asking the persons so they write down it is known as fir first information report after writing down the information report the person who has done the crime there it shall be possible they will arrest the person sometimes if the poor person has to be arrested they may just arrest a warrant how would they arrest a warrant is needed that this person has done a crime for him we have to share sometimes there is the on the spot there is they can arrest the person without arrest warrant holds sometimes they can do that it depends on okay so that is a arresting the person is done by the police police is an agency of the executive and executive does this kind of duties to help the judiciary to provide justice to the person who are affected okay so that is the reason ah, now because of the role played by the police in arresting persons we think that the police would decide whether the person is guilty or not police will arrest somebody or if the police will leave somebody all those things in media in cinema series maybe i have seen the things investigations investigative investigative movies are there so many those investigative movies will help you to understand the procedures of this so they what they do but the police cannot declare a person guilty police cannot declare a person you are the person you are the criminal the police cannot say police have to arrest him and put in front of a judge telling that there was a crime in one our in area we ask for the information available from the crime location this is the person who was something is maybe an innocent person he might have just moved that way the police might have arrested him think that he is a person so he might not have attended seen anything about that so an innocent person is arrested an innocent person is put to blame on that he has done the crime so the police cannot the police can arrest a person because police has seen a kind of situation this person was there so police can arrest him but if he if he is innocent he should not be punished that is the responsibility of the judge so after a person is arrested it is court of law that decides whether accused person is guilty or not not the police police arrest him and put them in front of magistrate telling that because of the, all the evidence is have proved that he is guilty he is a person please ask him and make sure he is the person and provide him punishment this is the what the police has to send to the judge so judge what happens sometimes after listening to him okay you have not done much crime you go and our police comes 
you go on the protocol. So, for instance, you go on the protocol. That is known as bail. That's a bail. The bail is given by the judge, by the judge, not the police. Police cannot simply leave him. Police arrest the person should be produced in front of a magistrate or a judge by the police officer within 24 hours. That's all. So once he has presented him for the judge, judge will decide whether he should be given bail or should be sent him to the police custody or to the jail. Police will ask because if the police finds he is a person, police want to conduct, conduct an inquiry, uh, taking the person to different places and asking a lot of questions to know about the crime. It is a response. Now you know many are arrested in the CBI case of uh, uh, drugs. So all those persons will be taken to different places to identify and the proof should be taken. Nowadays they check the mobile phones. Discussions and communications between one person to another person, they will take out everything. They can take from the mobiles. So they take out everything and try to find out whether this person has done this one. He is involved or not. If the, find, if the person find, uh, court of, uh, finds no evidence of him, he will be left free. But if he tells, I am not done, but there are evidences stating that he has messaged to somebody or talked to somebody or his uh, other evidences are related to him. He says, I did not go there, then there is a record of he has gone there. The police will catch him. So that is the reason. So it is all done by, according to the constitution, every individual charged for a crime has to be given a fair trial. He should be tried in front of a magistrate or a court and prove that he has done the mistake or not done. It is judgmental to be given by the judge. Okay. So in here, if these are things that you usually find in when a case is coming up. FIR, first information report means what the police has seen on the location, what the police has heard about it, that is you must apply. When you go and file a case, it is what you say, the police has written down and signed what your signature, that is FIR, first information report. Second, public prosecutor, a person who argues for the state. Because, you see, somebody has beaten, you, beaten me. I, it, is, it was my responsibility to the uh, state, means country, to protect me from the attacking of another person. So, the argument will be done by the government advocate for me. So, that advocate is known as a public prosecutor. The person who are, I am not paying because it is a responsibility of a government to protect me. Since the government has, was not able to protect me, government is trying to provide me justice by punishing that person. For punishing that person, to prove that that person has done the mistake, the public prosecutor will argue against him. Okay? That is a public prosecutor, a person who will argue, fight in the court for the government because government has failed to give me security. Since my security is not provided by the government, government takes up the responsibility to file the case against me and argue for me. So that person is known as a public prosecutor. Okay, then judge is a person who listens both and who gives judgment, you know it. Then defense lawyer, if somebody has beaten me, that person has to say that he has not done, he wants to defend no. So the advocate who will argue for him, telling that my client has not done, that advocate is called the defense lawyer, protecting the person or the person who is said to have done the crime. Until and unless the judge gives the judgment, he is not a criminal. He is only an accused person. So we cannot call him even a criminal. Because we are not sure. After the judge has heard everything, judge gives a 
judgment that he has severely beaten up and he should be given punishment for one or two years then he becomes a criminal till that it is not proved in the court it is he is not a criminal then he can be an innocent person also so that's a defense lawyer a lawyer or advocate who argues for the person who is blamed of doing the mistake such kind of persons are called the defense lawyer now anil ambani's case is going on was going on in london papers the persons or the advocate who spoke for anil ambani is known as is a defense lawyer okay so there will be judges for the uh, chinese banks also so they are also they are advocates they are supporting the judge the government responsibility is to provide money to the take the money from anil ambani and give it to the those banks the cases are going on. so that's a defense lawyer okay role of the police an investigation includes recording asking the people what has happened how it has happened statements of witnesses if somebody was murdered the police come will come and ask did anybody see it how it was happened at what time who was there why it was at what time it has happened many questions they will ask to the witness who was seen the person and collecting the different kinds of evidences nowadays mobile is one of the evidence the presence there in that area all those things one person said i was not present he said sir i was in a um, uh, bangalore i was on that day then it should be proved that he was with them by was somebody in the bangalore tell that i was i have seen him in bangalore so that is if the police think that the evidence of points to the guilt of the accused then the charge sheet filed in the court this is the work of the police filing the charge sheet so within nine in normal case within 90 days a criminal case also within 90 days charge sheet should be filed in the uh, court after inquiry if within 90 days a charge sheet is not in any the case charge sheet is not filed in the, the person who is uh, accused will be given bail so it is a responsibility of the police to find the inquiry study about it make evidence and put the case in front of a judge which will be for the 90 days 3 months okay now police investigation always have to be, be conducted in a accordance with the law and with the full respect for human rights that's what we speak we expect also the police to do like that and it seems might have seen in movies it is not the police becomes cruel or cruel behavior they do it but in real life they are not permitted to do it they cannot do it they must respect the individual the human is human being life is he may have done mistake or not that is the a court evidences they have to find scientific evidence they must bring and say this is this are evidences of not by hitting him forcing him to do it the police are not allowed to torture or beat or shout anyone during investigation shouting threatening it is not legally correct not permitted by the constitution for the police officer to do like that scientifically investigations bring the evidence and tell the person this is not simply threatening frightening the people is not permitted in the constitution they cannot inflict any form of punishment on a person even for a petty offense small small offenses also they can. if somebody has stolen something from a shop catch up of him he wants love it's not permitted small small offenses also police cannot beat the persons legally is not permitted police have to find scientific evidences and no the cases of uh, drug addiction cases are going on 
They say I was not there, I was not there, they will say I don't know anything, I don't know anything. But see your WhatsApp message, your phone call to this, this is what you told in the phone call, this is what is there. That is evidence. If the person denies also no chance because it's the code is there. So that is only the scientific evidence. Those are called scientific evidences. So those things are needed by the police, not by force, not by threatening him. Means he tells I, oh, you did not do it. Give one or two slap. No. See, you said you have not done it. You don't know. But you have only have sent this message to the person. Or you only have talked to this person. These are the sounds of your oh, sounds. So that's the responsibility of the police. Then, after the permit of the constitution, criminal law guarantee to every arrested person the following fundamental rights. These are the fundamental rights of every citizen. If you are arrested, you must. First one, the right to be informed at the time of arrest of the offense for which the person arrested. The person is being arrested. Why you are arrested? It should be informed to the person. Simply police come, okay, pick up, you are also arresting you going. He should be informed why he is arrested. Simply police cannot come, ah, okay, come, we'll take you to police station, arrest you, put in jail. No chance. The person should be informed for what happens, what is the reason to arrest him. And it should be recorded then. The right to be presented before a magistrate within 24 hours of arrest. Within 24 hours of the arrest, the person should be presented to the magistrate. That's another rule. So, police cannot behave whatever they like. So, that is the rule of the police. So, it is all Supreme Court judgment, fundamental rights. The right for, uh, to be presented before a magistrate or a judge within a 24 hours of your arrest. Little transportation time they can excuse. Otherwise, within 24 hours, the person must be presented. Then, the right not to be ill treated for or tortured during arrest or in custody. The police is on, uh, if a judge feels that this person has done the mistake, he should be questioned. Judge will give, uh, tell the governor, police to keep that person with him. With them. He can keep him locked up or in a jail. So, at that time, the police cannot uh, ill-treat him, torture him. Then the person will say, I was tortured, forced me and I, I was forced to the gunpoint by the police officer. That is why I have stated all those things, those things are wrong. I have not done any mistake. So, my has to take care of it. So, you know, confessions made in police custody cannot be used as evidence against the accused. Because police will threaten. Say that I will shoot you down. Then person, ah, ah, I have done, I have done, I have done. That person will think, if I say I have not done, he will shoot or he will simply beat me, punish me. So better say, yes, I have done. And in the court records, police are for, forced me to speak, so I spoke it. So if he has said something in the police station, it is not considered as an evidence. If he tells that I have done in front of the magistrate, then only. They are hitters. I was forced to speak like that, so I spoke. I have not done the mistake. So that is it. A boy under 15 years of age and a woman cannot be called to the police station only for questioning. Hence, any child below 15 years and a woman cannot be called to the police station only for questioning. There are some other reasons they can be called to arrest or find out. But only for uh, witnesses. Or questioning, hey, you have done all those things, they have to go to the women or children to the to go to their houses and question them. Cannot be told, come to the police station, they cannot tell. That is illegal. Okay, thank you very much.